बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद राष्ट्रपति महोदय जी आ, अभी राष्ट्र गीत गाने के लिए एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट अवर ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू जी टू गिव ए मैसेज टू स्टूडेंट गवर्नर ऑफ तेलंगाना डॉक्टर तमिलसाई सुंदर राजन जी यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ कल्चर एंड टूरिज्म श्री जी किशन रेड्डी जी तेलंगाना स्टेट मिनिस्टर श्रीमती सत्यवती राठर जी प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ केस ऑफ मेमोरियल एजुकेशन सोसाइटी जस्टिस एल नरसिम्हा रेड्डी जी डिस्टिंग्विस्ट गेस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन faculty members and my dear students it is my great pleasure to be here today among such bright and enthusiastic young minds i would like to begin by recognizing the rich history and noble mission of the case of memorial education society founded in 1945 1940 by sri Binayak Rai Bidda Lankar in honor of his father Justice Kesabrao Karatkar This institution has lived up to its motto of Vidyaya Amritam Asmute that means knowledge provides immortal wisdom it is a commitment to not only imparting conventional knowledge but also to molding students into good citizens with strong character the case of memorial educational society has a rich history of activism and social responsibility i am told that its grounds were the site of a historic flag hoisting ceremony on 15th august 1947 when hyderabad was still ruled by the nizam East Management Committee has included prominent freedom fighters such as Narayan Rao Pawar, Bandera Matram, Ram Chandra Rao, and Kande Rao Kulkarni. I am particularly impressed by the case of Memorial Educational Society's commitment to provide free clinic, adoption of village for development, and efforts to provide free education to all the children who lost a parents due to covid-19 the society is focused on instruction in marathi hindi and telugu is a step towards its inclusive approach to education and saving the needs of the community i congratulate the present management of the society for undertaking this important work ladies and gentlemen education is the foundation upon which a nation is built it is the key to unlocking the full potential of every individual i am pleased to see that the activities of case of memorial educational society have grown many folds from a small school in 1940 to a premier educational center with nine different colleges enrolling over 11000 students this growth is a tribute to the ideals of justice kesobra karetkar in whose memory the society has been established i am happy to have paid floral tributes at his statue at this campus i am happy to know out of the total students among amongst 40% are girls we need more of our girls to study and excel specially in higher education institutions mahatma gandhi said and i quote if you educate a man you educate an individual 
but if you educate a woman, you educate an entire family, uncut. <laughs> when girls are given equal access to education and opportunities, they often outperform the boys. They are an incredible source of talent and potential. Ladies and gentlemen, I am glad that celebrations of the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Hyderabad are being held as part of the Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahasav. This holds great significance for the people of this region and for the nation as a whole. It was through the intervention of Sardar Ballabhai Patel that the Nizam was forced to surrender and Hyderabad was integrated into the Indian Union. It will be my privilege to pay Prahlal tribute, uh, tributes at the statue of the Iron Man of India after this function. I want to take this opportunity to pay tribute to all the brave leaders who, who fought for the liberation of Hyderabad, including Ramoji Gond, Ture Bajkha, Kamuram Bhim, Surabram Pratabredi, and Soyab Bulla Khan. Their valor and sacrifice will always be remembered and honored. Before coming here, I inaugurated a photo exhibition depicting the bravery of those patriots who fought for the liberation of Hyderabad. As we celebrate this historic milestone, it is important for us to remember that our independence is not just about the liberation from oppressive rulers of the past. It is also about ensuring a bright future through well-conceived steps taken today. As we look to the future, it is up to you all, the young people of India, to ensure that we build upon the foundations laid by our forefathers and take our nation to new heights. This means working hard and striving for excellence in all that we do. It means being responsible and committed citizens who are willing to contribute to the betterment of our society. It means upholding the values and ideals of our constitution and working towards a more inclusive and equitable society. It means fighting climate change and preserving the planet for future generations. My dear students, as students of diverse disciplines, including technology, management, law, commerce, humanities, and social sciences, you represent the entire range of academic and intellectual potential of India. I am confident that the implications of National Education Policy 2020 will create a learner-centric education system to foster critical thinking and creativity. This shift in focus will not only benefit you as individuals, but will also contribute to the overall progress and development of the nation. My dear students, in the context of education, I want to emphasize on the importance of reading. The habit of reading is one of the most effective meaning means for self-development. Reading may also help improve other skills like your vocabulary, critical thinking, and communication skills. It is a skill that will serve you well throughout your life, irrespective of the career path you choose. While inaugurating a library in 1964, my learned predecessor president, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan had said, and I cut, it is easy to go to a cinema or a picture or see a drama or quarrel with friends, but to sit down quietly and read a book from the first to the last page is an exercise <laughs> in discipline, uncut. In an age of internet and social media, 
when attention span is getting shorter and communication is limited in characters. I will ask you to read more in order to improve your understanding and widen your perspective. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate the residents of uh, Hyderabad for your successes as a modern hub for technology and innovation. Hyderabad is a city of opportunities with a thriving IT sector and thriving IT sectors and modern amenities that make it a great place to live and work. It is a city with a rich cultural, cultural heritage and a diverse population, making it a melting pot of ideas and perspectives. This diversity is one of the city's greatest strengths and has contributed to its success as a center of growth. I encourage all of you to avail opportunities that this city has to offer. Dear students, I am confident that you will play a vital role in realizing the dream of India, becoming a more prosperous, strong, and developed nation. I wish you the very best in your academic pursuits and bright future. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद राष्ट्र माननीय राष्ट्रपति जी